Hey dolls, Yes here. Welcome back to my channel. If you're new, welcome. I'm Yes and I'm so glad you're here. Don't forget to subscribe and hit that little bell button down below. But today I'm coming at you with my March favorites and every time that I do a favorites video, I freak out because... It was Christmas time like yesterday. I can't even believe it. I feel like I say this in every single favorites video, but you know, your girl's not getting any younger. So let me live, let me live. So if you guys want to check out my March favorites, then please keep watching. So I got my little list down. We're all ready to go. Cause you guys know that I'll forget my favorites and I'll be like, Ooh, I love that that month, but I forgot about it. So anyways, let's start out with masks. You guys know that I love to try out different masks. And this one right here is not only cute, but it works amazing. It is the BioBell Glam Mask and it looks like this. I'm sure you guys have seen it on my Instagram before. It's like super lacy and it's so cool because it just, it feels really, really nice on the skin. It just, uh, it just feels really, really good. So it does also have hydrogel technology that will give you the softest, clearest skin you've ever had. And the texture on my face just, Ugh. When you put it on, it just feels so good. You just want to go like this and it's cute AF. So BioBell Glam Mask. I have two of my favorite, two of my favorite scents lately and they are the MAC, blah, 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 the MAC Shade Scents. And one of them is Candy Yum Yum. I mentioned this in a favorites video before. And the other one is Cream de Nude. So I have been obsessed with both of these and I love it because I just like drown myself in the smell. They're both very, very sweet. If you checked out my, my Mac, um, Smellathon, <laughs> then you know, you know that these two are my favorites out of like the whole shade scent collection. But this one's more like a why do I feel like I smell stuff in every single video? I don't know, that's, you guys know I'm huge on smells. Let's, let's just spray it. Though this one is more kind of like, like sophisticated, but I'm here and I'm like girly, but like, you know, but I'm like sophisticated, but also like I'm not afraid to twerk. That's what that one says. And then this one says, That one says, like, I'm dressed in pink, bubbles, Ariana Grande, very, like, mm, you know. I don't know what these descriptions are, but <laughs> that's just. I have the Makeup Forever HD Stick Foundations. I absolutely love this. This is what I have been wearing for, like, the last, like, three weeks. Um, yeah, I think the last three weeks. Yeah, Makeup Forever sent me a new package with new ones, like updated colors. So I've actually been using two of them and I've been using the R330 and the Y375 because the red one is like too red for me and then the yellow one is too yellow. So I just mix both. So those are my colors. If you didn't catch those, you could check the link down below and I'm going to have both colors on there. So, um, you're questioning one of them is like a yellow undertone and the other one is a red undertone so like for different skin tones but i mix both so i've absolutely been loving it it's like it's not like moussey but it just feels so so good on the skin and you can like build it up i just i don't know it's like super super easy to apply you can also use them to highlight and contour so yeah, that's what I've been using. I'm sure you guys have checked out my Instagram videos and you guys know that's what I'm wearing right now and I'm obsessed. If you've not tried it, you should. Um, personally, I have combination skin and it works perfectly for me. Right, next up we have some hair stuff. These here are hair ties and it's the one that I'm wearing right now. And these are different from like your regular hair ties. Sorry, I picked up this ugly green one. It was just here. Um, but as you can tell, like these are a lot like thicker. I'm not sure if you could see it, but these are like, they like roll up like that, you know, and then they go like that. And I just like them because I have super, super thick hair. So after a while, the regular head hair, hair, the regular hair ties start to like not be as elastic anymore, which I absolutely hate. And also, um, when you fold these, it kind of gives you a little bit more um, like thickness. So for example, like my pony is a lot like higher and I like that because I also like to put bobby pins in the back so it could kind of like, you know, instead of it being like, uh, it's like, woo, you know, it's like lifted up and it's not like down. So that's why I really like these and these like never lose their elasticity. Yeah, that's how you say it. Elasticity. And like I said, my mom and I, I didn't say that, but 
I have thick hair and my mom also has thick hair so she's the one who kind of put me on these um, and I actually got these at a random dollar store for a dollar it was like a pack of like five um, but I'm sure that you'll find them like at Walmart or Target or something if you have thick hair and you have problems with like tying it and it's like you know sometimes the little ties they like rip and they're not elastic anymore these right here baby will save your life okay so next up we have a makeup remover and this is one of my all-time favorites this will take off anything anything if you guys have tried the beauty bakery liquid lipsticks those oh my god I, you could literally go to war and like go to another war and another war and that liquid lipstick will not come off but this will take it off um it is the dermalogica pre-cleanse um it's like an oil-based makeup remover and i absolutely love it you just like squirt it and just go all over your face and it'll just remove everything literally everything i love it it's so heavy duty anytime that i do any liquid lipstick swatch videos this little baby is the one that's with me because like other things will take them off too but this is just so much quicker it just gets to the point so if you've not tried it it's the dermalogica pre-cleanse and i've not finished it yet i've had it for quite a while and i do use it very often so i definitely recommend it it is 5.1 ounces so in case you were wondering all right so next up we have this natural bronze gradual tanning moisturizer and it is not my favorite because of the tanning part because to be honest i've not even noticed that it's tanned me at all but the reason why i really like this is because it's actually a moisturizing spray so it's like a lotion but in a spray version and funny story um i like to air dry i don't like to like dry myself with the towel i like to just put on the towel sit on the toilet like not on the actual toilet but like on the seat of the toilet you know and like sit on my phone until i'm dry it's like such a waste of time I know but I just I like to air dry or I like to walk around the house like until I dry out that's just I don't know is it just me it cannot just be me I know other people like to air dry anyways so you know you just came out of the shower you might be like cold so I always have hated like grabbing like lotion and putting it on because I, I just get really cold and I'm like I hate this and I have literally every time that I get out of the shower I'm like I wish I had a spray lotion like do spray lotions exist I'm pretty sure they do because it's a good idea so anyways I went to the store the other day and I saw that it was like a spray moisturizer and so I was like okay I'm gonna take it and you know it was like natural bronze so I was like okay honestly the natural bronze part I have not noticed anything that's not why it's my favorite because I don't even know if it works but I just like the fact that it's a moisturizing like spray lotion because it just makes my life so much easier every time I get out of the shower I just I'm like oh my dreams came true so I want to show you guys how it works super easy just lotioned moisturized you know and then you just go in like this and you know then your skin is soft and stuff so that's why I love it it just, I don't know. And, I forgot to mention this. And it smells like cocoa butter. And it has vitamin E. And it legit, like if you don't like cocoa butter, then don't get this. Because it legit smells like cocoa butter. Like, hours later, I'll be like at the gym. And I'll be like smelling like cocoa butter. Because I'm sweating and I'm like, ooh, okay, your girl smells good. Because it really does smell good. Like, it just gets all up in your skin. Mm -hmm. I smell like a chocolate. Mmm. <sighs> I feel like like I feel like taking a bite out of my arm. Mm. All right, so I know I'm all over the place. I have like lotion products hair products face products skin stuff just all over the place but it's like a big omelet i don't know where that synonym came from but whatever acronym is it an acronym or a synonym okay so next up we have the eyelashes that i'm wearing right now i really really like them they're super fluffy and they're not too little but they're not too much i feel like you can like either wear them by themselves or you can also pair them with a nice eye look and it'll just look perfect um and these are the lash illicit <laughs> lashy licious lashes in the style fluffy licious and i actually mentioned the diva licious last month i think but I got these new ones and I really, really like them. So that's these right here. 
My chicken cutlets have been with me. These are like my rider dies. Like I've had these for, well, I haven't had these for so long because they usually only last like a good like, I don't know, five to ten uses, but I've been using them for so long and I've never mentioned them. These are so, so good. Like, anytime that I go to LA for events, I find that I hardly ever even wear a bra. To be honest, when I go to events, I always wear these babies right here. If you've never checked them out, they have like a sticky, um, like the inside is sticky, so it like holds up your boobs and you just kind of like pull them like this and they just kind of like stay like that. And you can also unhook this little thing, which is cool. I'm sure you actually saw the, um, like that Instagram joke, silicone thing. Yeah, those are these babies right here. Um, so yeah, they cost from like 10 to 15 bucks and they have them in different sizes and I absolutely love them. Like they're really cool because you can unhook them and use them for like, you know, like if you have like a, a low cleavage, like cleavage, a low cleavage dress or something or just like anything where you don't want your back to show this is typically what I use um, sometimes I do find myself having to use tape with these um, like when I'm wearing like a really really complicated outfit but for the most part these will hold your boobs up so if you you know you've seen these around the store and you're like I wonder if they work or you know I need something that's gonna cover my back or like you know strapless bra or whatever these work perfectly okay, so I thought that that was the last product but it wasn't this one here is this is the grande lips hydrating lip plumper um yeah it plumps your lips it's not really in my opinion different to any other like lip plumper you know it's not special the reason why I like it though is because let me clean it off a little bit the reason why I like this is because the tip of it because it's a gloss and the tip of it is actually like a rubber like, I don't know if you can see, but it's like a rubber, um, ew, I got lip gloss all over myself. It's like a rubber, like, tip thing. So the reason why I like this is because I cringe, like, when I have a brand new, like, lip gloss that has, like, a nice wand, like, a white, nice wand, and then you, like, put it over, like, a brown lipstick, and you just stained your little wand thing. I hate that. Like, I just, I don't want to do that. So usually I find myself, like, dipping out the product and putting it on my arm and then doing all that. But with this, it's not going to stain the thing, so I don't feel bad, you know? And glossy lips are definitely coming back. Obviously, I don't know if you guys have seen, but... The matte is cool, but the gloss is definitely coming back. So this is perfect because I could just put it on top of everything and it is a little lip plumping, I guess. I mean, it's more of like a, like a, not really like a burning sensation. It's just kind of like a very minty feel. So it doesn't really feel like, oh my God, like it's not at all like the Too Faced lip injections, but it's just kind of like a, you know, minty gloss. So that's why I like it because it doesn't stain a wand because it has like a plastic like applicator. So I think that that's it. Oh, I have one that I didn't really know if I was going to share with you guys or not because it's a little bit embarrassing, but I'm pretty sure you guys can relate. So fuck it. Let's do it. This doesn't even have the label on it anymore because it's so freaking old and I'm not even supposed to have it for that long, dude. This is like a six month like period of time or whatever. By the way, if you guys didn't know, um, products do have like a shelf life. Um, and you can find it. I'm going to show you guys where it's at. So, for example, this one right here. I hope that it shows. Yeah, it says right there. I don't know if it's too small, but it says 24 months in this little bottle right here. Um, so, that means that from the date that you... I'm not really sure if it's from the date that you open it or from the date that you purchase it. I think it's from the date that you open it. That would make sense. But from the date that you open it, like, this is good for 24 months. So, you know. And then this one right here says it's good for 12 months. So from the date that you open this, it's good for 12 months. And this is pretty much on every single product. Yeah, so like this is a Makeup Forever setting spray and it's on here, it says six months. So this has a lifespan of six months and um, I'm pretty sure, damn, how long have I had this? Maybe like five years? I know, don't judge me, because I know you guys probably have mascara sitting in your drawer from like ages and ages ago, especially when I wasn't doing blogging, you know, and I didn't have like so many different things of makeup, like I definitely held on to things like, mm, yeah, that's like 15 years old, but you know, I might need it, you know, like that hoarder stuff.
or whatever like don't judge me but anyways this is the and i remember it because it's definitely been one of my favorites it is the covergirl lash blast mascara and it is a volumizing one as many of you guys know if you followed me for a while my eyelashes suck and hardly any mascara works for me everything makes my um eyelashes go down okay so my camera shut off but what i was saying is that this one right here always um held up my lashes and just made it work so i found it somewhere and you know it still works even though it's old af i know i know you're not supposed to use that stuff it's bad for you i know but you know what it's been working for me and i don't even know if they sell it anymore but i need to go to the drugstore and look for it and if not, maybe I'm, I'm sure I could probably find one on eBay. But anyways, I just wanted to share that with you guys. It's like super like... And when they're dry, they're even better. Why do I smell everything? I'm so weird. Does anybody else do that or is it just me? Um, so when it's kind of dry, it's better. Actually, I remember when I used to get like brand new tubes. I, use, I used to actually take out the wand from like an old one and then use it. So that that way it wouldn't be so saturated with the new wand. So... I don't know that was just my trick for my lashes to stay because the reason why they go down is because they get wet so they go down you know so I like to have a very like very very minimal amount so I always liked these better when they were already used for like two months you know and they didn't have as much product in there I know who doesn't want that much product me so I would just like casually just like dip the old ones in there and then like use it you know and then put it back into the old container I don't know it was like a whole Whole journey to try to make my eyelashes stay now um, I have you know fake eyelashes and stuff so it works out well, I think that pretty much does it I think that is it for my March favorites I'll make a list again for April oh my god I can't believe that it's April but I hope that you guys enjoyed this video as always the products are going to be listed down below in case that you guys are interested if there's anything that you guys want to see let me know in the comments down below and yeah I'll talk to you guys very soon did you guys catch that the spirit fingers I need to come up with a different outro